dihabitus. So this is about the dihabitus. Now let us discuss the very briefly about the trihabitus because that is also given in the book trihabitus. So in case of trihabitus, he took three characters at a time. I will explain it in a very easy method so that easily you can understand the things. Now in case of trihabitus, Suppose he took three, three pairs of characters. Suppose in one case it is T, T, R, R, Y, Y. That means the plant is tall with a round and yellow seeds. It is crossed with a uh, dwarf, wrinkled and green seeds. Then the F1 hybrid will be capital T, small t, capital R, small r and capital Y small y. This is the F1 hybrid. So this plant will be tall with a round and yellow seeds. Now in the F2 generation, how many gametes will be produced and how many plants will be produced? That is important from a generation point of view. And uh, what are the different types of gametes? Sometimes students commit mistake here. So I will tell you very easy technique by which you can do it. Now when you are you have to find out the gametes. Just you apply the binomial formula or you can uh, dichotomous branching, you can do the dichotomous branching. So how the gametes? First is capital T, small t. Then in the capital T, here there will be two types, capital R, small r, and here also there will be capital R, small r. Then next is y. The, uh, this will be also capital Y, small y, small r has capital Y, small y, then capital R has uh, capital Y, small y, and the small r has capital Y, small y. So you see how many types are there? Two, four, six, eight. Eight types. That means in the case of a trihybrid cross, the gametes will be of eight types. So in eight types in the male side and female side also eight types of eggs will be there. So in the checkerboard, in the point square, how many types of plants will be there? There will be 64 plants, 8 into 8. And what are the different types of gametes from this also easily you can do. Just I am telling one thing. Capital T, capital R, capital Y. Capital T, capital R, capital Y. Then capital T, capital R, small y. Capital T, capital R, small y. Two types. Similar in this case. In this case, capital uh, capital T small r, capital Y, then capital T small r, small y. That means here two types, here two types. So in each case, you will get a two types, two types, so altogether eight types. Easily, very easily you can do it. Now, what are the different types of phenotypes? So the phenotypes. The phenotypes will be 3 is to 1 to the power n, where n is equal to number of contesting characters. That means see, here we will get 3 is to 1 to the power 3. That means we will get 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 into 3 is to 1. This is the square then third time. So that easily you can understand. Now if you multiply these things, what we will get? 27. Then is to 9 is to 9 is to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. That means the phenotypic the phenotypes are 8 types. The phenotypes are of 8 types and in the proportion of 27, 9, 9, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1, 8 types are there. Then uh, how many types of genotypes will be there? Genotypes. Now the genotypes per formula is 1 is to 2 is to 1 to the power n and here n is equal to 3. So here n is equal to 3, if it will be square, 
then it will be 1 is to 2 is to 1, 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now this will be multiplied by 1 is to 2 is to 1. So this is 9 and again it will multiply with 3. With the 1, again 2, then 1. So how many types? 27 types. If you will write it, it will take time, but still, uh, if you want, I can write it. It will be 1, if you will multiply this with 1, then it will be 1. I am writing here it will be top so that easily you can understand. I am writing it here top. Now, if it is multiplied with 1, it will give rise to 1 is to 2 is to 1, then 2 is to 4 is to 2, then 1 is to 2 is to 1. Multiply with 1. Then let us multiply with 2. So when we will multiply with 2, this will be uh, 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4 is to 8 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2. Then again multiply with 1. That means the first line. Again 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, altogether how many types? 27 types. So, very easily you can remember this thing. What, is the, what are the, uh, how many types of phenotypes in case of triabitus? What are the different types of genotypes? All these things easily you can answer only if you have some idea. And by applying this dichotomy branching, any type of uh, gametes, uh, you can easily see whether it is the right gamete or not. So this is a, what is dihabitus and trihabitus. Now let us discuss questions. <clears throat> so let us discuss so, the MCQ. Now number one, if two tall plants, if two tall plants, both with the round seeds, we are crossed, crossed, which of these, which of, which of the, which of the following results can be possible. If two tall plants, both with the round seeds, both the plants are tall, both the plants have round seeds. If they will be crossed, what is the possible result? Now, one choice, we can write 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. The second choice is 3 is to 1. The third choice is all tall and round seeded and the fourth choice is any of these three possible this is a very good question now come to the second question the f2 progeny of a typical dihybrid cross in Mendel's experiments in Mendel's experiments shows single dominant and single recessive you know, types in the proportion of in the proportion of one choice three by sixteen is is to three by sixteen. Second choice six by sixteen is to six by sixteen. Third choice nine by sixteen is to three by sixteen. 
and the fourth choice 9 by 16 is to 7 by 16. This is also a very interesting question and uh, you can answer, you will uh, think for a moment. So with this we are uh, coming to the conclusion of both the dihybrid and uh, trihybrid classes. I hope your concept regarding the dihybrid and trihybrid classes is very clear. Thank you very much for watching the video. God bless you and have a good day. Thank you.